it's still out there in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Hello Mojave Treasure Hunters, Cato Genesis here. This time I will be giving you a combination guide for the Dead Money expansion of Fallout New Vegas. I will be showing the unique equipment you can obtain, as well as Dean Domino's stashes in the districts outside the Sierra Madre. One of which is by the Sierra Madre Snow Globe, which I will show you as well. As always, with the assistance of the Fallout Wiki, we will be doing this by progression, so you won't have to be worrying about missing something before you enter the casino. And now let's begin our excursion with the villa. After you start and learn about your surroundings, you'll realize your equipment has been replaced, and you now have the hollow rifle as well as a dead money jumpsuit, and a bomb around your neck. Our focus is on the hollow rifle at the moment. This is the first and only unique weapon in dead money. Even though its weapon spread is not the best, it makes up for it with its raw damage capability of 80, which in terms of damage is better than the anti-material rifle and the Gauss rifle. On top of that, it also has a damage over time effect of 15 damage per second for 3 seconds. Make sure you seek out the hollow tapes as well for the weapon mods, advanced calibration specifically to decrease the spread. But I'm jumping ahead here. Your first task from Elijah is to gather your party. Just before you reach the police station, you'll be met with a stairway before Elijah tells you about the inhabitants. You'll find Dean's first stash near one of the pillars there. Dean Domino's second stash is in the police station itself. If you locate the restroom inside, the second stash will be in there. Take your nightkin friend over to the fountain, and when you start your search for Christine in the medical district, you'll want to make a couple stops in the villa first. Another one of Dean's stashes is on the villa rooftops. In one of the northeast buildings, you will find a stairway up to the rooftop. The fourth stash you can find is in the southeast part of the villa, inside of a little shop. And that's all we have to collect in the villa, let's move on to the medical district. Dodge the rogue radio signals, and make your way into the clinic, and just to the left of the entrance, you will find Dean Domino's fifth stash. And since you are still at the entrance of the medical clinic, if you take a right and follow the hallway down to the first door, you will be in a room where some strange experiments were happening. On one of the gurneys, you will find an assassin suit. A great piece of armor for any courier at this point, but as its name implies, directed towards stealth, giving a sneak bonus of 10 and a damage threshold of 14. Once you have Christine in tow, you can take the exit upstairs, which puts you on the medical district rooftop. A short jaunt from there, and on the opposing side of a roof, is another one of Dean Domino's stashes. You should now have two unique items, and have found a total of six of Dean Domino's stashes. After you finish in the medical district, head to the residential district to find the one that's been placing these stashes in the first place. When you make it roughly halfway towards Dean Domino, you'll be seemingly blocked off by the cloud. But within that cloud, and adjacent to the trees, there is a small inlet, with nothing but another stash inside behind a pillar. Nimbly trounced through all the traps, and you are rewarded by meeting Dean Domino, who puts you in a stressful situation immediately. After one of you convinced the other to join up, you can trade equipment with Dean and get his tuxedo that way. Dean's tuxedo will give you a bonus to speech and give you a sense of lounge singer style, as it were. Before you go back to the villa, there is an upstairs apartment in the northeast section. Look for a couch, and the eighth stash is right behind it. And that puts us at the halfway point. Now that your crew has been assembled, you gain access to Salida del Sol, which is separated into north and south sections. We begin in Salida del Sol south, and the ninth stash can be found near the switching station. Follow the road a fair distance back, and the stash is in an alley to the side. The tenth stash is in the eastern section of Salida del Sol south, inside of the shop with a cosmic knife sign out front. Be wary since the cloud is inside there as well. On the upper level and dead center of Salida del Sol south is a busted out wall you can access from the awnings. You should be able to access this by going up the stairway at the entrance of Salida del Sol, and from there you can follow said awnings to this stash. And that's the three stashes in this area, let's move to Salida del Sol north, where we find the last four. Just like the last, this stash is located in a broken out wall, and is near the entrance of Salida del Sol north. You will have to find your way up to the awnings again, but this is definitely worth it, since the snow globe is right next to it as well. The next stash is in the southeastern part, in an upstairs billiard room. It's on the top shelf of the metal shelves inside that room. Continuing north, you will find a large flight of stairs. The clouds seeing it more than tourists now. Just to the left of them, yet again, is the 14th of Dean Domino's stashes. After doing what you need to start the gala event, take the path southwest and you will end up in the Salida del Sol courtyard. Well, above it to start with. If you jump down into the cloud, you will be met with a locked gate. There is a skeleton with the key next to them, and Dean's final stash behind the waterway. I highly recommend getting all these stashes before you enter the Madre, because when you come out for your final look, there's a few more radio signals you won't be able to silence. Now with the confusing exterior out of the way, let's gather that last bit of equipment in the Sierra Madre. <laughs> yeah, that rhymed. Get through the casino, kitchen, and theater segments of the main quest, and you will end up in the Sierra Madre Executive Suites. This is a set that's more rare than unique. 
I am speaking of the Sierra Madre reinforced armor. You will find a full set in the suites when you break your way into the guard's storage. The Sierra Madre reinforced armor has the highest damage threshold for light armor in Fallout New Vegas and the rest of the DLCs. Like I said, even if it's not unique, it is certainly worth taking back to the Mojave. Another piece of gear you find in the suites is Vera's outfit. You can find what's left of her in her room, and I'm sure she won't mind you taking it. It has a clothing appropriate damage threshold of 2, a 5 point bonus to speech and barter, and a 1 point bonus to your charisma attribute. Last but not least on this list is Father Elijah's robe. I don't want to spoil too much on the ending, but also when you complete the expansion and end up in the bunker again, Father Elijah's room will be unlocked. It'll be in the now unlocked Brotherhood Footlocker, along with many other goodies. And that, my wonderful treasure hunters, is all of Dean Domino's stashes and the unique equipment in the Dead Money expansion. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. This is Kato Genesis, and remember, getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go.